Today I've got a 48 sided perfect circle. As usual I'm using legacy parts for demonstration purposes only. You can use any parts you like but I thought it was best to use these parts for the new method that I've come up with. Anyway let's get started. First put down a stone floor, attach a garage door or power door to it, select another stone floor, reverse wire glitch by placing the item and then hitting the place and wire button at the same time. Attach the wire to the top of the garage door, remove that stone floor, place the stone floor again, reverse wire glitch, again by hitting place and wire at the same time. Attach the wire to the angled wire, put the stone floor back again. Get rid of the scaffolding. Put a stone floor at the bottom, select the stone floor, green state it and then do a reverse wire glitch. Pull the wire like so. When you've highlighted the connector point, hit the place and wire button at the same time, you've done your bindle glitch. Now you can remove that stone floor, place a couple of triangles as so. Now we're going to use that same method that we used earlier, all four corners of the triangles. If you're struggling with the wire glitches, I've got a tutorial covering the basic wire glitches for you, with some exercises to help improve your method. I'll put a link to that video up in the corner now. Now that's done, we can remove the triangles. What you want is a pattern like this with a wire pointing out at the bottom. Now we're going to place two floor panels in a semicircle. Until you have a pattern like this. At this stage it's also worth taking a moment to make sure that everything's nice and flat, nothing's gone skew with. You can now delete all the inner floor panels. And we don't need that one in the middle neither. At this point select the other end of the central wire, shifting your central point towards you. We're going to select a floor panel, highlight the connector point and banjo wire glitch by hitting the place and wire button at the same time onto that end point. Now we're going to use the semicircle as a guide using the same methods we did earlier with the reverse and the banjo wire glitch. I'll go over it one more time, green state the item, hit the place and wire button at the same time, pull the wire to the connector point in the centre. When you've highlighted that point, hit the place and wire button at the same time and the floor panel will be glitched at the point you want it to be. But you are going to mess up from time to time as you're about to witness I do here because I miscounted. But it's an easy fix as everything's out of the way. Delete the rogue items, count the panels at their back and you should be back on track. Right, we're going to carry on with the reverse and the wire glitch all the way around. And there's another mistake glitch. As you can see, the wire's in place, but not the panel. But as the framework's a step away, it's an easy fix, delete the wire, carry on. You also notice if you double glitch a floor panel in place, it's slightly raised. That will mess up your perfect circle, again, because everything's out of the way and you suspect you've done that, it's an easy fix. Okay, let's wire glitch the last few floor panels. There you have it, core of your 64 sided circle. You can check the notches are equally distanced, there's no gaps. Good time to make a save. And at this point we start placing all the floor panels, but do it the opposite side and leave your scaffolding for now. 
Ok I'm going to speed up the footage of me placing the floor panels, but if you've got the handle of what I'm doing you can skip ahead 2 minutes. Placed my semicircle, I can get rid of that scaffolding, it's no longer required, and I can carry on building my circle. Because there's so many parts to keep track of, inevitably you're going to encounter this problem. I've missed a couple of floor panels in my placing in the centre somewhere here. We know it's not the ones in the dead centre because we've checked that before we started. So it's safe to remove a few inner floor panels, except the ones in the dead centre of course. And if you leave the ones in the rim, you've got double insurance there. You can safely delete the ones like I'm doing, so it's easy to keep track of what's going on. And there I've found the last missing piece, I can place it, build out the edge. Because I'm using the legacy parts, it creates that interesting pattern. I've got to put every single piece back. Depending on the parts you're using, depends on the pattern you want to create. Okay, I'm going to put the final edge on. You'll probably find, what, like I did, that it's quite difficult to build it all at one point. As you'll hit build camera limits, and you have to move around a lot. But there you have it, a 64 sided perfect circle. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later.